Hey y'all, I'm gonna stick my foot in my mouth. It's not like I haven't been doing it a lot lately anyways. Um, okay. The real debate, and I cannot cover this in a short two to five minute video, so instead I'm gonna take it one thing at a time, going on in America is capitalism versus socialism. And you got bullshit coming out of both sides. Okay, you know, one side wants to claim blah blah did this, blah blah did that, yada 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 yada, and unfortunately the mass ignorance of the American people is letting both sides basically sell lies as truth. One aspect of this debate is the idea that it would be a good idea to nationalize core services. One of which is in the process of getting nationalized. It isn't fully nationalized, that's health care. And it's contrary to popular belief, this has actually been something the country's been trying to do for decades. Both that, that particular health care bill has been reimagined and reshaped and you know been a Republican bill, a Democrat bill, a Republican bill, a Democrat bill, back and forth and round and round it's gone for decades as it regrown and, and morphed and got redrafted. So it, it's been a push. This is not a recent debate in America. Are we a capitalists or socialists and you know where's the right balance? for the good of the people. So, what uh, they want to claim, oh, shut up, <laughs> is that it'd be a good idea to nationalize base services like food, medicine, oil, energy production, basically anything everybody needs. It's a bad idea for the private sector to in any way, shape, or form own this stuff. It should be owned by the people and therefore owned by the government. Um. This is actually, there's actually a valid economic argument for this. But the economic argument makes the presumption that your government is efficient at logistics and distributing resources. Basically, you give the government a dollar and you're going to get a dollar's worth of work out of it or damn close to it. And you're basically just cutting all the middlemen out using the power and resources the government has at its disposal that the private sector may not. Uh, and therefore grant a monopoly to eliminate the cost of competition. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Again, it makes the presumption our government is the most efficient mechanism. That's where more capitalistic people and businessmen and anybody who's ever depended on our government kind of goes, okay, Valid economic argument, assuming the numbers work out like you say, oh yeah, it's a great idea. I give the government a dollar of tax money, and in exchange, I get a dollar of work out of the government, or 90 cents plus. A very little loss, if any. That sounds like a great idea for base services and needs. But is that how the U.S. government runs things? I mean, take the recent Cash for Clunkers program. No matter how you do the math on that thing, uh, you take in the savings from the cars they took in versus the cars they basically funded people getting, and you look at the fact that for every dollar of work slash help slash aid, that was done to the people, they needed to get four to, in some cases, ten dollars to do one dollar of work. I think that would be detrimental if that was how the food on my table is handled. Because, I mean, even with standard retail markup, for those who don't know what retail markup is, it's 2.25. So let's say I, I have a dollar, and I divide by 2.25. Okay, that means, law of averages speaking, in the private sector, I'm getting 44 cents of work plus for every dollar I'm spending even with all the middlemen in the retail system. And out of the government, I'm getting 25 cents to 12 cents out of every dollar I'm spending. 
Now, I think 44 cents plus or 25 cents, it really, I, the argument is, do I want 44 cents or more worth of work out of every dollar I spend, or do I want 25 cents or less out of every dollar I spend? Call me crazy, but I think the 44 cents plus is better than the 25 cents less. So again, it's not an invalid economic argument as many pure capitalists want to make. If the government is better at marginalizing cost on something than the private sector, it's actually very capitalistic to nationalize it. Because capitalism's in pursuit is ultimate marginalization. Therefore, the most efficient use of the resources would be give money to the government and let the government do it. Which is the reason we have government. For some things, this is the best way to do it. Either for logistical reasons or liberty reasons or other things of that nature. The question isn't, is this a good idea? The question is, do you believe the United States government is more efficient than the private sector? Historically speaking, that isn't the case. Bull uh, nationalized stuff argument. Uh, here's how you shut up both the pure capitalists and the pure socialists on this argument. Okay, When the socialists say, isn't it a grand idea that we give the government a monopoly? Uh, if they don't want to look at the numbers and do the actual math, then you say, okay, fine. I'm okay with the government doing this job as long as I have the choice of whether or not I want to use the governments. So if you're right and the governments is the best, then I'm going to buy the governments. If not, I'm going to buy the private sectors. You know, basically competition. And this argument also shuts the capitalists up too because what they're saying is they want to bar the government from being able to compete against the private sector. That's pretty anti-capitalistic too. And actually that is a solution I would prefer on both fronts on this. I don't have a problem with the government getting into any business. I have a problem with the government having a monopoly if it's not the most efficient way of doing the resources.